Okay, the last presidentially related amendment we're going to look at is the 25th. And the 25th amendment deals with a bunch of different stuff. Uh, one of the primary things it deals with is sort of like presidential succession. So, unfortunately, there have been a handful of times in American history where you have had a president die in office um, and, or um, like left the office to some capacity, like Nixon. Right? Um, so, well, there is an order in place that deals with who takes over in the case of an emergency. Um, the Presidential Succession Act of 1947 um, established the fact that obviously the vice president, which was always assumed, comes after the president. Um, but then what happens in a situation where the president and vice president are both killed, for example? Um, who takes over? Well, it goes to number two on the list, which is the Speaker of the House. And then the president pro temp in the Senate. You'll notice one, two, and three in terms of who takes over for the president, um, are all elected positions. The vice president, the speaker of the house, and sort of the temporary president of the Senate are all elected officials. So they thought those people should go first. And you'll notice uh, number four through 18 on the list are cabinet um, positions. Um, they are in the order of those cabinet positions being created, um, not their order of importance or significance. So that's the order. But the 25th Amendment uh, was passed in 1951, uh, ratified in 1951, and it sort of cleans up um, some of the misconceptions with the order of presidential succession. Uh, the first thing it establishes is that if for some reason uh, the president uh, has to leave office or dies in office, um, the vice president actually becomes the president. They're not like an acting president or a temporary president. They officially have all of the actual powers of the presidency. Um, so there's no misunderstanding there. That just sort of like puts it into, into writing. Um, it also establishes the fact that from time to time, there can be like vacancies in the vice presidency. Um, so this just spelled out the method for how vacancies in the vice presidency would be filled. So for example, if a vice president dies in office or resigns, a president can appoint a new vice president and it just has to be approved by a majority vote in both houses of Congress. Um, the other thing that it specifies is that a president can temporarily transfer power to the vice president and then take it back. Well, what, when would this happen? This could happen if a president was having some sort of like surgical procedure, would be under anesthesia, wouldn't be able to make decisions. Um, they would notify Congress that power is temporarily being transferred to the vice president. Um, the vice president would have all the powers of an acting president, and then when the actual president was feeling better, power could be transferred back. Probably the more interesting part of the 25th Amendment is what if people believe the president is incapable of doing like their job, but not willing to give it up? Like, what if there is some sort of like medical reason or disability that's preventing the president from doing the job, but the president either doesn't recognize it or doesn't believe it's an issue? Right, and like who wins that sort of like battle of power. Um, this does establish there's a mechanism in place where you can force the president out against his will. If the vice president and a majority of the cabinet agree, then the vice president automatically takes over, right? If then the president disagrees or refuses to give up power, um, he becomes president again. And then a two thirds vote of both houses of Congress would be needed to remove the president this, at this point. Um, at no point has the 25th Amendment ever been used or really been threatened to be used, but it's just a mechanism put in place that would allow a president to be removed from office if incapable of doing their job. Not that like you don't like the job they're doing, but there's something going on with them that makes them incapable of doing their job. This is a mechanism in place to remove them against their will. 